Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in last week's video, I took part in my very own design challenge called the Creative Glow Challenge. Now this is where I set weekly briefs on Instagram for creatives to get involved in and hopefully push them out of their comfort zones when designing. So in this week's video, I'm actually gonna be reviewing some of the entries into the challenge, letting you know my thoughts on them and hopefully you can do the same too in the comments. So if you are ready, grab your cup of tea and let's review some designs. So let's start off with one of the briefs. Meet the ladies lounge. This is a brand new cocktail bar who are needing the whole works for their brand. They're needing primary logo, secondary logo, logo marks, and a cocktail menu. Whilst they serve delicious cocktails, their interior is to die for, therefore wanting to create a whole experience for their clients. So after hearing the brief, let's jump in and review some designs. So by the way, if I am looking down, I'm looking at the reference photo of the design. It's on my phone over here. So I'm gonna start off with the first design, which is by Erin Marie Design, and it is beautiful. I'm just gonna start off by saying it is just wonderful. I adore the typography that's used, and I love that it's in a really nice arch. It reminds me of getting that really nice photo with the girls on a night out under a really nice arch, and I can just imagine the interior to have places that you can take photos, so a really nice arch to get that photo. It's just setting the scene for me straight away. And I also like how they've used two sets of typography, so one for the ladies lounge and then cocktail bar in something else, just to split it up because it can get a bit repetitive. So the colours are spot on here. They've used a really dark sort of black slash blue colour against the pink and it just looks so good. It really makes everything just stand out so much more and creates a really nice elegant vibe, which I really, really like. Then I'm going to move on to the illustrations that they created. So in design, it is always really good to use symmetrical shapes because it is so pleasing to the human eye. And in this, you will see that the illustrations of the cocktail glasses are so symmetrical and it is just so pleasing to the eye to see such symmetrical shapes. So making sure that everything is just symmetrical and mirrors one another will make your work look really, really good. I'm gonna move on to the photography now. So you guys know that I love using photography within my brands. They have used a really nice photo of the glasses cheering together and it just makes you feel so cozy and comfortable and making you want to go to that bar and grab one of these cocktails. So I'm just having a swipe through now of the designs and and I love that they've done another version of the logo, so it's still in the arch, but there is one illustration used, which is always really good. It would be really great to see something a little more simplified, so actually creating a logo mark, because there isn't one for this brand already. So maybe using the LL for Ladies Lounge and incorporating one of your illustrations, or even just using one of your illustrations. But other than that, this branding is chef's kiss. So I'm gonna move on to the next design, which is by Lee Graphics Designs. And this is the same brief, so the ladies lounge again. And I'm gonna start off by just saying I adore these colors. The mustard color is my favorite color. And when it's used within the design, I think it looks so, so good. So I love the contrast of the mustard and then using a really nice lighter color. It really makes you feel inviting to the brand and just creates a really nice warm feeling. So these colors work really, really nicely with this branding. I love the font of the ladies. The E just does something for me. It fits really nicely next to the H. It's as if it like leads you up. It's just a really, really nice visual to look at. So I really love the font that was used there. The only thing that I would probably do is when dealing with type on a rounded circle, I would either make sure you're changing the typography because using a really tall font on a rounded circle can be really hard to read sometimes. So I would suggest using a sans serif typeface that is just really bold, really simple, that goes around the circle, or even changing the hierarchy of this and putting lounge underneath the ladies, just because at the moment it doesn't read as nicely as it should. So putting it underneath will just change that and will make it more appealing to the eye and a lot easier to read. There's also a really nice logo mark which they have incorporated the T, the L and the L for the ladies lounge and they've arranged it in a way that looks like a bench and a table which is really really clever and I love when there is actually strategy behind a design for why you have done this. So when you are trying to explain something to a client or you are putting a post out make sure you explain why you've done certain things so other designers and clients can see exactly why you've arranged 
the logo or the layout in a certain way and it makes you look like you're confident about making this decision to arrange it in a certain way. They also came up with a really nice menu that I'm just going to swipe across and have a look at. So they have split it up into sections which is always good when you have quite a long menu and I love that they've included the brand colours within this so they split sections up so one side is yellow, another brighter yellow and then an orange colour. So once again with the logo I would just change cocktail card to something a little more simpler in a different font just so you don't get confused with the logo and then this as well and I love the cute illustrations of the cocktails within this it works really really nicely and just splits it up so I would try and use some more of the negative space more so you don't have to fill up the whole menu with stuff so don't be afraid to just leave some space open for nothing to go there Next, I'm going to move on to the last design from this brief, which is by Design by Charlotte. And they have created something so fun that I'm really excited to talk about. So they have used completely different colours to the other briefs and they've gone for a green, gold and pink. And green and pink is such a good colour combo that I love using within brands. So they have used one font for this logo and the primary logo is in a stacked position, which works really nicely. The T and the L flow really nicely down to one another which reminds me of a drink being poured into a glass which creates a really nice feeling for me. I would have maybe moved the ladies over because the L kind of doesn't work with the T and the L combining. The ladies kind of gets lost so I maybe would have had a look at the arrangement of that but I really do love the T and the L going down to one another and then my favourite part of this is the illustration of the ladies legs coming out of a cocktail glass. Now tell me that isn't fun. Like that is just a whole vibe and I just love it. And then there's little spills of drink coming out of the glass, which makes you think that the legs are like in there. I don't know, it just looks so, so cool. And it's such a distinct thing for this brand. So when you come up with brands, it's always good to include something that will be remembered. And I'm definitely not gonna forget these ladies' legs in the glass. So in one of the other logo marks, they have done the ladies lounge stacked and then cocktail bar on the left hand side. And I'm just noticing now that cocktail bar is spelt wrong. So if you didn't notice that, really sorry, but I literally hate making spelling errors. It's one of those things that just happens. So don't worry about it. Um, I would probably change the typeface of cocktail bar just to something different because as I've said before, it can get really, really repetitive when you use the same font. Um, so just mixing it up using a different font that is complementary to your primary logo will work really, really nicely. And I'm just swiping through now just to see if there is any other logo mark. And like a previous one, it would be really great to see a simplified version of this. So whether you do just use the glass with the lady's leg as the logo mark, or you could use the abbreviation of TLL as a nice logo mark incorporated with the cocktail glass with the lady's leg. Something just a little simpler so that it can be scalable if needed, say if they had an app for this cocktail bar where you could order drinks. You want something really simple that is distinct so the lady's legs in the glass would work really, really nicely. Other than that, I am loving this brand and I love how everyone can come up with different designs whilst given the same brief. That's the whole point of this. Like it's so good to see that people go in different directions with briefs and can come up with some amazing designs. So I'm gonna move on to the next brief, which is one of my favorite briefs, by the way. So the client creates the most beautiful hand-painted plant pots. So this client's business is called Planted Pretty, which is a bit of a tongue twister. So it's such a cool brief to do. And I'm so excited to share some of the entries into this challenge. So one of the first entries is designed by Design with Amy and they have created something that is really, 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 I just said that three times, really four times nice. And I love the typography used within this and I love how it's placed in a neat, but in a messy way, if that makes any sense. So the typography isn't straight. Each letter has been manipulated to look like it is sort of moving and creating a messy feel, which does just remind me of when you do put your plants into a pot or if you are gardening, it isn't a clean process and soil does get everywhere. So it creates a really nice homely, messy feeling, which I really, really adore. I also love the little illustration of the plant in the pot overlapping onto the typography. It's such a minimal thing, but it works so nicely and just makes you feel like the plants are intertwining and growing within the typography. I'm gonna swipe across and I adore this other illustration that was created, which is of a wheelbarrow and they've got planted pretty and then established 2021 with some plants growing out of it. And it works so, so nicely 
nicely. So it's creating another feeling of the build up towards the plants and then being planted within the pots that are created. So going away from having an illustration of a plant pot and using something that I probably wouldn't have thought about myself, like a wheelbarrow, just works really nicely for this branding. The only thing that I would say with the typography is I would keep it the same typography used within the primary logo as the typeface looks like it has changed. So it's always good to keep everything cohesive and consistent across the brand. So just by changing it back to the original typography, I feel like that would have created some consistency and would have worked really nicely with the wheelbarrow. I also love that they've used photography within this with the wheelbarrow on top of the plants. It just looks so nice. I always say using photography can make your brand go from like a five to a 10. It just adds something that makes you feel that this is a real brand because you're using real elements within it. So if it was me, I would have maybe explored some more colors. So maybe incorporating one more color within this brand. I feel like a green would work really nicely within this. Just giving your client more variety when using a color palette. But other than that, I adore this. And I think my favorite part about this is the wheelbarrow. It just works so nicely. And like I said, it's something that I probably wouldn't have thought of. Please let me know in the comments your thoughts on the design so far, if you are vibing with them, if there's anything that you would change, or if you would leave them as they are and not change them at all. So I'm gonna move on to our next entry now, which is by Studio Zoe Design. And this branding is another chef's kiss here. It is beautiful. I love the typeface that was used within this and all the detail that they go in to explaining the strategy behind the design. So first thing that grabbed my attention is the connection between the D and the Y and it made me want to know more. So I'm so glad that they went into detail about why they have done this. The explanation to this is in centering the clay on the potter's wheel, one sentence down, yes, and the other immediately centers up. Down and up, wide and narrow, letting focus bear within it and expanded consciousness and letting a widened awareness have the commitment to detail of focused attention. And I just adore that. The minor details like this that go into brands can really have a long lasting effect. And obviously explaining this detail to her audience and if this was a client, it is so beneficial to do so because you might look at a designer and think, why the hell have they done that? And if there's no explanation, you're not gonna have a clue about why they have specifically done something. And people want to know why, especially clients. So always make sure you're explaining why you have arranged something that way and why you have designed something that way. So this person has gone for a really calm feeling within the brand of the ceramic pots. Now I love this feeling towards the brand and the photography works really nicely with this as well. They've also come up with a really cute logo mark which is the P and the P combined. Looking at this, if it was me doing this brand, I would have maybe tried to incorporate that connection feeling like you did between the D and the Y. So maybe somehow manipulating the P's to create that really nice cohesive feeling with the D and the Y as well as the P and the P. Other than that though, beautiful design. They've also come up with a business card, which honestly makes me feel some sort of way. I love the use of the negative space and how it's created a really nice sort of broken feeling that you would get with the ceramic pots. And the colors used are just amazing. Like it's beautiful. So you have outdone yourself Studio Zoe and Moving on to the next brief. So within this brief, I really like to split them up to make sure that they aren't repetitive and coming up with a brief each week. So I've added in a color palette challenge. Now this is a beautiful color palette. You guys know that I adore exploring colors, bright colors, bold colors, everything like that. So for this brief, I gave them a color palette of greens, browns, creams, and with these colors, you have to use the initiative of coming up with the business. So the type of business has to fit with the color palette, the name for the business, and then creating the whole brand around this color palette. So the first design is by Kimberly Sanders Designs, and she came up with a kids clothing brand created by three best friends who had a dream of opening a clothing line that is ethical, sustainable, and affordable. A brand where you can embrace the future fashionista. Now this brand is called Little Loves and it is the cutest thing. The typography of the script font really makes you feel like it is a kid's brand. It works really nicely and the colors used for this branding, I think have hit the nail on the head. You don't have to use really kiddie colors like the bright colors that you would think of. So let's start off with 
with this cute illustration of the stars and the rainbow. So this really does just remind me of kids and when you are younger, I feel like rainbows get used a lot within kids brands and it just works really nicely with this. So I love that it is arranged over little loves. The only thing that I would do is maybe make the rainbow just a little smaller so it's not overpowering the little loves logo. Just by changing that slightly, I feel like the little loves would grab your attention a lot more. And then swiping across now, I love the arrangement of the other logo of Little Loves and then these stars around it. Once again, creating consistency within the brand. And I love the connection of the little and the E connecting with the loves. It just makes it flow really nicely and is really appealing to the eye. The thing I love about this is that although it is a kid's brand, it still keeps it professional because if you think about it, mums are going to be buying this brand and if they are into the sort of boho style they will adore this brand so much and they have created the whole works for this one so they have done a logo mark as well which is the l and the l i would have loved to seen the connection between the l and the l i feel like it is such a good way to connect them both um and it would fit in really nicely with your other secondary logo and just connecting them on that bottom logo but i do really love the l and then the star and the l i feel like like that works really nicely too. The effort that has gone into this brand is just, it's blown me away to be honest. Um, they've come up with a little clothing tag for the brand. Creating mock-ups and things like this can really put things into perspective for your client. It really makes them feel like this brand is real and allows your client to see potentially what this brand might look like in the real world. And this tag is beautiful, so behind it, there is that consistency with these stars. Again, the colors just look so beautiful and I am giving this brand a chef's kiss. It is so beautiful. So well done Kimberly for putting the effort into this brand. You have outdone yourself. So moving on to, I think this is gonna be the last one that I'm reviewing. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. Please let me know if this is something you want me to do more of because I love going through and just reviewing people's designs, getting an understanding of why they have designed in a specific way. So I'm going to move on to the last one now, which is by Diaz and Design. Hopefully I've pronounced that right. Um, and they came up with Little Pines Farm, which is amazing. Like I probably wouldn't have even thought of doing that. So the whole point of this is obviously growing and selling foods and the incorporation of the color palette that was chosen works so nicely for a farm brand. It gives a really nice earthy feeling by using the greens, the browns. It makes you just feel like everything is homegrown and I really get that feeling by just seeing the colors and the illustrations used. So let's dive into the illustrations. This is what caught my attention. So using this illustration, it just works so nicely. So they've got a block color behind of the vegetable, which is the carrot. And then they have done a line drawing over the top of the block color and it looks so, so good. It reminds me of the roots growing and it just creates a really nice earthy feeling for me. And it makes it feel personalized. It makes you feel like they have put time and effort into growing these goods just by using a line drawing. And it's mad that it can make you feel like that by just seeing a design. Next, I'm gonna move on to the typography that they've used. And I love the typography on Little Pines Farm. It's just really, really nice, simple, and the inclusion of the illustrations works really nicely too. I would have maybe chosen one of the illustrations just to go above the Little Pines Farm as it can get a little lost and it does seem a bit overpowering. So maybe just taking one of the elements Putting it above there, I feel like it would have been a lot clearer because it is visually hard at the moment to see what those icons are. And using those icons on their own works really, really beautifully and a lot can be done with them. I feel like these would make a really nice pattern and packaging for these vegetables and even on some signage of some delivery vans. I feel like that would just look insane. Um, and then just moving on to the handwritten font, I would have maybe tried to find a font that is just a little clearer because at the moment, it is quite, from the distance that I am, it is quite hard to read, um, but I do love the use of descriptive font. It really makes it feel personalized and it says homegrown with love. And by just using a scripted font, it reminds you of that handwriting and when someone writes a letter, it makes it feel really personalized and it was made with love. So that is me reviewing some of the entries. Please, please, please let me know your thoughts in the comments of each individual brand. And if there's anything that you would have done a little different 
differently. There are honestly so many entries into these and I love going through them. So once I post the brief on a Monday, the following Monday I will go back and I will pick my top three favourites and post them on my Instagram story explaining why I've chosen these three and why I love the designs. So if you do want to get involved in the challenge, either head to my page, which is underscore Abby Design, or search the hashtag creative glow challenge and you will see all of these entries that you can go in and have a look yourself. You can take part in any of these challenges at any time. You don't have to do it on the week that I set them. You can go back and enter into the design challenge. If you have enjoyed this video, please let me know. Please give it a thumbs up so I know whether to do some more of these videos. And if you wanna see some more design content, make sure you subscribe to my channel.